unfortunately it was our Apex Golf GTI that you saw there in the barriers briefly. If you want to find out more about this car and you can ask all your questions because tomorrow we'll be hosting a live Q&A session on Apex Instagram. But I want to still tell you more what happened there in this these brief five seconds because this was the first lap that we drove with the Nismo GTR. You're gonna see the full lap in a bit and more the info on the car, etc. But what happened there was actually quite well, remarkable and something that we can learn a lot from. So I was driving, following the, trying to keep up, let's say, uh, with the get speed taxi. And then we, as we're going into Metzgesfeld, I see a car parked alongside the track in the barriers and then I look closer to it like oh no this is our golf and while looking at it I go over a wet patch of tarmac the only wet patch because the, the rest of the track was dry you could also see that the get speed taxi was probably a bit surprised by it because it also lost traction for a bit and then as I go over it because my attention was more on the golf and not on the track I go like oh my god oil 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 this is probably what made the car crash no what made the car crash was probably either the wetness on the track or whatever happened but I just want to emphasize that you need to keep attention on the track and in my case like this small attention like going what was happening next to the track made me miss the fact that there was a wet patch of well from the rain that happened before and uh, maybe if not for the traction control that I kept on on the first lap which was switched up for the second one um, it could have been I could be next to the golf and the barrier so yeah, that's all I had to say. Again, tune in tomorrow for the, on the Apex Instagram for the live questions with us and the car, etc. And uh, enjoy the rest of the video about the car and the second, uh, quite a faster lap with warm tires and no TC. Yeah, so no driver excuses. Good morning, comrades. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Nevercring and welcome to a video featuring one of the cars that probably everyone keeps asking for to drive. Although we drove already a couple of them, but one of them was like, really bad and one of them was in the wet on semi slicks and now hopefully we actually will be able to drive an actual Nismo so we haven't done a Nismo and on top in hopefully dry conditions on proper tires so how are you doing I'm good all good <laughs> just good. arrived at Nürtzleif uh, yesterday so yeah so you did already a couple of laps yeah but it was pretty wet on the first two laps yeah. and then the second it started to dry up so <laughs> nice I think it will be a good trip well let's uh, let's yeah. have a look so doesn't look like a stock exhaust. We've got a, a bit of upgrades. A bit of upgrades. So yeah. tell us what you have on it. Yeah, so it, it it's basically a standard Nismo, but then it has the downpipes and the titanium exhaust. Uh -huh. And then I upgraded the brakes. Yeah, oh, that's good. For the trip here. Yeah. You no, know, the key issue is the brakes. So and the transmission cooling as well is actually. Transmission cooling is not something it has. Okay. So that would but probably be the next upgrade. Okay, but, but Nismo maybe should probably be see. able to handle it. Yeah. Love the wheels. The wheels are stuck. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. the carbon ceramics. Yeah. Carbon ceramics. Which tires were on? It's uh they're called Signovas. RS. Pretty much look like Signal Six. Yeah. Right? yeah. So. Cool. So you already done done some laps, so maybe they're already warm. Should we check the pressure or you're good? Yeah we can. Yeah, let's Just have a look. To be sure. Just to be sure. So yeah. we're gonna check the pressure, hop in the car and do a lap. Enjoy, enjoy. This one. What the the boost. <laughs> My gym pass. Sure, Misha. That's... <laughs> I'm like, <Didn't> what? <laughs> it's like, cart unknown or too, too little uh, money on it? I'm like, hold on a second, I have unlimited pass. Okay, so we're a manual. This time we go off. Then press down one more. Just once? No, or... one more. Just push it down again. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Now it's on. Off. Okay.
the weight in the corners quite nicely, but under braking, you need to be aware of it. Yeah. As you can see. Yeah, all the weight. Yeah. That's something new.
good. Yeah. I think the tire pressures can go a bit lower maybe, mm. but I think it just has to do with the weight that the car yeah. like really skips. Yeah. But um, yeah. But it feels safe. Around it feels the very good. It feels really yeah. good. It's just like very high speed corners, so you need to be aware of the weight and, yeah. the, and the hard braking zones. Because yeah, yeah. you go on the brakes and like, oh, yeah. it takes quite a, to be yeah, a long time to... Uh, but overall, it's nice. So thanks for this experience. Oh, you're welcome. I'm uh, happy we uh, survived <laughs> the, the, the first lap <laughs> with this nasty moment. That was... <laughs> Well, that was great. Thank you so much. Yeah, I really yeah. enjoyed. It it's the uh, first uh, GTR that survived the lap <laughs> twice, two <laughs> laps even. Yeah. The weight, yeah, you cannot hide it. No, no. That's uh, it. One thing I do have to say: there is no way that it did 709 or 713, what they were saying back in the days, with some track pack that you <laughs> cannot buy from the dealer even. Yeah. But it's like when they were just like, oh yeah, this is the time we did. You just have to believe us, like. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah.